Welcome back to Everything Whiskey. I'm Callum. I'm Sam. And today we're having a look at Nika from the Barrel. Alrighty, um, back with another uh, Zoom episode doing the Nika. We wanted to do this one in person uh, when we first bought it. That was our intentions, but it doesn't look like this lockdown is going away anytime soon. Too soon. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully soon ish. Um, but the Nika from the barrel is a really, really interesting one because it's one of the only like high proof uh, Japanese whiskeys you really find. It's like 51%. Um, yep. and like, it is seriously hard to find anything over like 43. It's 51.4 if you want to get <laughs> precise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's really difficult. Um, and this one in particular is ex like, it's, a, it's extremely complex and deep. Um, not just because of the 51%. Um, mm -hmm. now Nika is owned by Asahi. So <laughs> massive, massive brand. Um, but Nika is one of the not the first but um kind of co-worked with uh the um the the first japanese whiskey distiller distillery suntory um yeah. nika split up did their did their own thing um and basically got their own brand now um this one is a combination of their yoichi and miyagikyo uh distilleries um there's no age statement but it's meant to just represent like a that's why the bottle is weird. It's meant to represent like a small block of whiskey, or something yeah. like that. Uh, it's what the website, uh, like Nika themselves, has said on that one. Yeah. Um, they do marry like the. It's a blend of single grain whiskey, a single malts and uh, grain whiskeys. They marry the each each one um, together for like a few months in uh, used oak barrels just to kind of help them come together instead of it being just like they tip in this, they tip in this into the bottle kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, they do let it marry together inside another barrel. Um, this is, <laughs> it's nice to get like not only a complex and high ABV um, Japanese whiskey, but just the fact that it's those things which are pluses on top of like the normal thing that you would think it would be easy to find, which is just Japanese whiskey. But at the moment, like, you know, in the past year or two, it's kind of gotten really difficult to find Japanese whiskey, like that you're sure is Japanese. You've had to go to Suntory. I mean, it's or been more to, than that. It's been more like three or four years yeah. that you find actual Japanese whiskey. You've had to go to <laughs> Nika or Suntory, and this yeah. is Nika, um, but it's it's just <clears> nice <throat> that you know what you're getting is made in Japan. Uh, it's yeah. a legit thing. Um, but also it's got some extra things that you don't see in Japanese whiskey that often like the, um, like the high proof. And I feel like Japanese this whiskey is the only sings, one I've ever seen this high proof, by the sings way. when it's at high proof. Like it comes out yeah. so much more like it's uh, this one to give notes is like Christmas spices. I mean, I get like gingerbread, but I also get like honeysuckle floral notes. Yeah. And with a lot of floral yeah. and grain notes though. They're yeah, like yeah, intermingled. That, that multi-grain must be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah sweet yeah those spices are like they're pretty prominent the spices yeah. are nice you do not get them at that kind of like density in you, you don't get it at all really in japanese mm -hmm. whiskey you get like a slight bit with like i was trying to think like maybe just the slightest bit with some of the others but not much the floral note is definitely something that comes across in Japanese whiskey. That's just whiskey. called Japanese, That is yeah. like, yeah, that's their thing. It's like really light uh, floral notes, some deep kind of like funky citrus notes. Um, it's yeah. kind of like it's been said, like the white wine of whiskey. Um, and that is true with a lot of them. Um, but there's also, yeah, lots of deep golden notes, um, caramelization. This one especially just has more of those deeper kind of uh, thicker, rich, sweet notes. Yeah. Um, the, all, all the notes are that of, uh, you know, a quintessential Japanese whiskey, but they've just been turned up a lot higher in density and the palate like sticks yeah. around for much longer. You're there's not a very like, dark caramel nose as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's so nice. That's why it reminds me of like so a good. Christmas spiciness, like the, the yeah. gingerbread and stuff, like those kind of, but with, you know, like raw sugar on top yeah. of it, but it's been put in the oven with the sugar on it and it's kind of like <clears throat> hardened. It's just got like that Christmas, kind of like... Are they Christmas pies with fruit in them? Is that what a Christmas pie is? I've never heard of a Christmas pie in my life. <laughs> or am I just... I'm, I'm probably just making something a up. A Christmas pie. Isn't that a... 
what is it fruit cake it's probably just a fruit cake, cake. yeah i don't know <laughs> it's like i feel like sugar, americans have fruit weird bunt cake like, or something yeah i don't know i don't know but it smells like a christmas cake of something it's like of. Yeah, yeah when you get like a carrot cake and it's got it's been full of like you know cinnamon and stuff like that and yeah. five spice and stuff nutmeg there's a lot of nutmeg and like gingerbread in this which I yes, like. Yes, there is, yeah. Gingerbread and nutmeg is probably the most As soon as you said thing. ginger, ginger yeah. just... But not like ginger, out, yeah. like in, you know, Asian food ginger. It's the gingerbread, like... Yeah, like that, sweet that, ginger. Yeah, the actual, yeah. like, spice that you put in that's dried yeah. in, yeah, stuff like that. And with the baked, like, kind of sweet multi notes. It's pretty Ooh. much the same on the on the palate, but just, like, more... Those floral, floral notes, notes. Yeah. yeah, they stick out more. Yeah. I'm so glad that... <laughs> It's yep. so much more intense as well than what I'm used to with Japanese whiskey. I know, but it's how much better is it? Like, it's just so yeah. much more, like, density and flavors. It's like, I get that Jap- Japanese whiskey is always meant to be, like, the light and friendly one. Um, yeah. But, like, it's got flavors there with some uh, oomph, like, if it just had that alcohol density. So, like, mm. seeing it uh, kind of have that power behind its punch is nice. It's kind of it's owning its own flavors. Even I'm getting some like dark light. cocoa as well on the palate. Yeah, like a bitterness. At the very end, yeah. Yeah, it's like the bitterness in com- combination with the oak. Oh. The flowers out of the nose have just disappeared though. It's now more like grainy it's just sweet and more and grainy, spice. Yeah. yeah. But the, that yeah, floral the, note just disappeared. It's not light and floral anymore in the nose. Like it's still the other stuff is there, but the, it's not light anymore. It's more sweet and dense. Oh. I wish we had the, I wish we were at our setup because the Nika Pure Malt, they are, from memory, these are similar kind of notes, but this is obviously yeah. just cranked up to like 11 on the, on the scale because of the cast rate. Yeah. But if we're at our setup, I would, I would want to compare Every these. Every single review we do, we're just like, God damn, I wish we were at our setup so we could have done this or this or compared to this. It's so true though. Like it makes a massive difference. Like you've got, oh. you've got something and you're like, you're like, I know this note, where did I get it? And you guess yeah. and see if it's in one of these other Japanese ones and you find yeah. it like, it's so much better. This but, is so complex. It's like a waxy walnut almost as well in the end as well. Yeah. It's like that Delmore walnut kind of waxiness with a little yeah. bit of sherry kind of sweetness, mm. more oh. spicy and stuff, but it's super yeah. nice. It, you could, it, you can see that, um, kind of scotch, um, What's the word? Influence? Yeah, influence will do, yeah. It's Scotch influence uh, that Nika has. Um, yeah. Whereas Suntory is a lot more kind of just... Was it... This might sound very stupid. Was it Nika, the head distiller that went to live in England, came back to make he went Scotch to, Slide? Yeah, he, or was that Suntory? He went, no, he went to Scotland. Suntory... So it was Nika. Sh- Shinjiro yeah. Tori went over to Scotland and trained uh, in in making whiskey in scotland and brought it back to suntory planning mm. on u- utilizing that experience and everything he'd learned uh, uh within the suntory distillery but what came out was very much akin to scotch yeah. pardon me uh and they didn't want that and suntory wanted to do their own thing so nika went out um and made well Sun- shinjiro tori went out and made nika from yeah or what i you know from what i've heard that's the story i'm probably missing like quite a few details and stuff <laughs> and stuff yeah. but like from what i've gathered that's the general gist of it um so yeah you can see the more scottish influence in this one you look at some of nika's other ones and uh you can definitely see it there's more uh, kind of unique notes in suntory that are a bit less like scotch um yeah but again this has also got like like we said that um floral note like is not there in scotch um, the deep spices can be found sometimes in Scotland, but it's more just like that overarching kind of palate feel with the main yeah. flavors, uh, are kind of akin to a scotch, but there's lots of uniqueness as well. It's not just like a complete slap sticker on kind of, you know, mm. copy. Well, we've got to take into availability as well. Yeah. Like this apparently isn't available anywhere. I've only ever seen it at our local bottle shop. Really? I don't want to say where it is. That one that we always go to. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. That always stocks it. Yeah, but apparently this is really deal. rare. Apparently I, this is rare though. Apparently they don't. It, it, apparently they not, only stock yeah. this for like that one customer in that one store. They um, apparently that's what they said. 
they, and it's like 120 bucks as well for 500 mil so like you gotta take yeah, that into that is actually definitely i totally forgot how much it was you do have to yeah. take that into account it's not yeah. a cheap whiskey it is a small bottle um but you do get your worth with it it's not one of those ones where like oh, no, we've yeah. mentioned it's with really some nice. australian whiskies that we have not liked um have been a bit frustrating about the small bottles and the high prices um this one does totally uh, make sense uh, but yeah, it is still, you're still putting down 120 bucks. Um, and on the availability side of things, I've seen it in quite a few places, but I think it doesn't last long. Like I think it goes to a lot of places, but not in huge quantity. Like I think their stock runs out because we have it at my work on the mm. flights and stuff, but they are already have, they've already run out and we've gone on to something else. So like, I think it's definitely sold like it's got good distribution but i think it's got a smaller scale of actual like you know i don't think they actually send out like a totally abundant year full um, yeah of, of it i think it does kind of run out mm. um, which makes sense but i mean it's damn good to keep around it's it's damn interesting oh yeah I'm really keen to try some of the other ones we've got coming. Written house, uh, not written house. Um, written house, <laughs> written house, written house is all the, gone. The the Willet, Pot Willet, Steel, Pot Steel, Lafroy Law, um, Port Escape, Port Escape. Alrighty, so we'll call that one. Uh, really happy with the Nika from the barrel. Definitely recommend buying it if the price and size are not something that bothers you. Mm. If you are going to be, you know, sure that it's something decent, we can definitely say that we think it's decent, but don't you know let us don't come it's at just us. subjective <laughs> it's, as well know, yeah, yeah. don't come at us We're, it's always <laughs> subjective um but yeah if you did like this episode leave us like if you want to see future episodes from us maybe consider hitting that subscribe button if you do we'll see you in the next one cheers cheers